Information gained from buildings will help determine the vulnerability of United States buildings to atomic attack so that adequate civil defense planning may be carried on. Materials are to be exposed which are considered as potential fire hazards in atomic warfare. Such information will influence defensive thinking. It will aid in the selection of materials, design of equipment and structures, disaster planning. And so, while tests which can affect the security of a nation wait, while naval vessels make their ceaseless security patrols, while radar scans the skies, while military police guard the beaches, in the master control station, a door is closed, padlocked. The single key put in the pocket of one man, head of the firing party. No one will enter here until the party returns from its final round of checking circuits, closing switches, making ready for the release of nuclear forces. the firing party returns to its home island and all is put in readiness. Before the break of day, another momentous blast will light the pre-dawn sky over any Weetok, set into being by a mechanical gadget called a sequence timer. fifth series of atomic tests to measure and understand the nuclear forces of the atom is over. And Iwi Taka proving ground shrinks again to garrison size. But preparations must be made for another series of experiments. The need for continuing tests of atomic weapons is self-evident. We need now, as never before, to expand our knowledge in the field of atomic weaponeering. If any one group of people recognizes the urgency of time, it is the people living and working on this isolated mesa in New Mexico. The men of Los Alamos return to their mile-high, security-guarded laboratories to continue with the development of nuclear weapons and important research in many other aspects of the atomic energy program. The people of this mesa well know the important responsibility placed on them. For what answers are found within a seemingly insignificant building what happens behind the wire fences, what a man carries home with him, and for security's sake will not speak of. These things are vital to Americans everywhere. The city once secretly hidden behind Post Office Box 1663, 
today is so actively and openly engaged in the atomic energy program that it can no longer be cloaked behind a postal number. For this is the city designed and dedicated to the study of nuclear forces in the atomic age, a study which concretely means to the American people that new, improved atomic weapons have been developed and proof-tested. The nation's stockpile position has been bettered. We have added another stone to our small pile of knowledge about the complex nucleus of the atom. We have gained important offensive and defensive knowledge on the effects of atomic blasts on military equipment. We have also learned necessary, realistic lessons for our own protection. We have studied defense for the individual, defense for the nation. As a result of atomic tests, such as Operation Greenhouse, we are gathering the know-how, the strength to defend that which we prize so highly, the land that is our heritage, this land that is our home.